a professional real estate agent when buying or selling a home can help you make smart decisions and avoid costly mistakes. But with over 30,000 licensed real estate brokers in the Philippines, as well as many real estate brokerage firms, finding the real estate agent that is best suitable to help you might be a challenge. So in this video, I will share with you how you can find, contact, and choose a real estate agent so that your property sells or that you buy the best property for you. Hello, if you are new to my channel, I'm Me An Clemente and I'm a real estate vlogger based in the Philippines. For this video, it is actually a content suggestion from one of my subscribers, Mr. Christopher. I made this video as informative as I can, so please give this video a like to support me. Before I jump into the discussion, let me just quickly go through some information that you may find helpful. A real estate agent is actually an umbrella term for someone who acts as an agent in a real estate transaction. Here in the Philippines, a real estate agent who is a legal real estate service practitioner may either be a real estate salesperson or a real estate broker. The notable difference between the two is that the real estate broker has a professional license that was obtained through getting the necessary education and passing the real estate broker's licensure examination. So a real estate broker may authorize and oversee 20 real estate salespersons. They can also choose to work independently while a salesperson needs a real estate broker. With regards to representation in a real estate transaction, there are also particular titles for real estate agents. A listing agent helps seller price, list, and market their properties. They also negotiate with buyers. On the other hand, a buyer's agent helps buyers find listed properties, make competitive offers, and negotiate with sellers. There are instances in the Philippines whereby a real estate agent can represent both sides in a single transaction. However, it is best to avoid such kind of arrangement if you want someone to negotiate on your behalf to get the best deal. The top three ways amidst the pandemic that you can find a real estate agent who can guide you through the buying or selling process with confidence but without being pushy are the following. Number one, search online. As with everything, online research is key to efficiently find a real estate agent. Most real estate agents have an online online presence either through a website they own, their company's website, or their social media account. You may also find them on online platforms like Lamudi, Carousel, Doc Property, etc. Number two, seek assistance from a professional real estate organization. You can directly contact a professional real estate organization like the Philippines Association of Real Estate Boards Incorporated or the Real Estate Brokers Association of the Philippines Incorporated and ask them to refer you to one of their members in good standing. Number three, get a referral. Ask for a referral from a family member, friend, relative, neighbor, or colleague that you trust. As you look for real estate agents, keep in mind that they should be working in the area where the property you will sell or buy is located. List at least three real estate agents because you can't choose if you only have one name, right? <laughs> anyway, if you want to get in touch with an experienced and successful real estate agent, most likely they have a work-life balance. So don't don't just call them immediately on their posted contact number, not unless what is posted is their company's office number. Sometimes a real estate agent is in the middle of an important meeting or is preoccupied with a property viewing. Of course, you don't want to give an impression that you are rude. The best way to reach out is to send them a text, a private message on their social media account, or an email to introduce yourself, share briefly why you need a real estate agent, and schedule a virtual meeting with them. I say virtual, not physical meeting, even if the real estate agent doesn't charge anything for a meeting. Because like what I mentioned earlier, you have to reach out to at least three real estate agents. So it is more time efficient and cost efficient for you if you do the initial meetings online first. So how do you choose the best real estate agent for you? Before the meeting, verify if the real estate agent is a legal real estate service practitioner. Before you set a phone call or a virtual 
virtual meeting with the real estate agent you found, you have to make sure that you are dealing or you will be dealing with a legal real estate service practitioner. This is an important step for you to be protected against unethical real estate practices. You may verify if a real estate broker or a salesperson is a legal real estate service practitioner by following the steps I'll share. First, go to the Professional Regulation Commission website, prc.gov.ph, and click the Verification of Licenses link. Or you can save the link shortcut, which I'll put in the description box of this video. Next, click the Verification of License by Name tab, then input the profession. Scroll the drop-down button and look for the real estate broker. Input the first name and last name of the professional and then click Verify. Once you click the Verify button, a dialog box will pop up if the individual is a verified PRC professional. After checking if the real estate agent is a verified PRC professional, you can schedule a virtual meeting or phone call with them. During the meeting, verify if the real estate broker's license is still valid. Either ask for a photo of his or her PRC ID or ask for his or her license number and birth date, then click on the verification of license by license number tab and put the corresponding information. Afterward, click the verify button and a dialog box will pop up if the individual's license is still valid. By the way, if you are going to buy a property from a real estate developer and you want to be serviced by a real estate broker, you should also check if the real estate broker is registered with the Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development. I'll put the link to the list in the description box. Simply type in the search box the name of the real estate broker. Treat the meeting as a job interview. You will be talking with multiple real estate agents and for you to determine the best fit, you have to think like an employer. Just because a trusted family member, friend, or colleague recommended a real estate agent or a real estate agent is famous, it doesn't mean you have to work with him or her right away. For instance, you want your condominium unit to be sold but the real estate broker you will be approaching focuses on dealing houses and lots. That will be a mismatch for the service that you need. So it's important to ask the right questions during your meeting or call. Some of the questions you may ask are the following. How long have you been working in the real estate industry? Do you work full-time or part-time as a real estate agent? What type of real estate property do you specialize in? Do you primarily work with sellers or buyers? Will I be working with you individually or with a team. Depending on the answers of the real estate agent, you can already determine if he or she can provide well the service that you need. If the real estate agent is not a fit, you can thank him or her for his or her time. Otherwise, you can communicate your wants, need, and even expectations. When providing details, make sure to include the following. That is self-explanatory already, so I won't be discussing that anymore, but following such a guide will help give your agent a clear picture. He or she will be able to assess if he or she can help you. A good real estate agent always does what is best for his or her client. Ask more questions. Additional questions you may ask a listing agent are the following. How much do you think should I sell my property or do you think my asking price is fair? Please take note that the agent's recommended price should be backed up with market knowledge. How will you market my property? If there are more sellers than buyers in the market, it means more marketing activities will be necessary and you would want to hire a real estate agent who has the budget to promote your property extensively, whether it's through video tours, advertisements, multiple listing services, or even online real estate marketplace. Places. How much is your commission rate? As the seller, you will be paying the real estate commission. If you are hiring a real estate broker, the more appropriate term to use is professional fee rather than commission fee. The professional fee of a real estate broker is not fixed by any law but based on the established real estate practice. It is typically 3% to 6% based on the selling price. The rate may be lower if the property is in the luxury or high-end market or if the property is considered 
considered as economic housing, the rate may go as high as 10%. Please keep in mind that the real estate broker may not be able to receive the professional fee in full because he or she typically splits it with the buyer's agent or he or she has to share it with his or her team or brokerage firm. If you prefer a non-exclusive listing arrangement, ask the real estate agent if he or she is okay with such. However, I recommend that you work exclusively with a real estate broker to assure that the sale or purchase of a property will be carried out more diligently. On the other hand, the additional questions you may ask a buyer's agent are the following. Can you explain the home buying process from start to finish? As a first-time home buyer, the process can be long and complicated for you. Getting information on how it works not only shows the competence of the real estate agent, but it keeps your expectations on the timeline to be realistic. How will you help me find listed properties in my price range? The buyer's agent will be the one to track down the properties that meet your criteria, get in touch with listing agents, and make appointments for you to view the property. So it's important that he or she has access to multiple listing services, a developer's inventory, and even has the local expertise to get you the best deal. Will you have my best interests at heart? This is important because a good real estate agent won't pressure you to purchase a property outside your criteria just so he or she would earn a higher commission. Discuss your preferred method and frequency of communication. Discuss with the real estate agent how you expect to be contacted if he or she has clarifications and how you'll reach out to him or her. Is it via text message, email, face-to-face, -face, a private message on a social media platform, etc.? If, for instance, you prefer phone calls but the real estate agent prefers emails, then your methods of communication don't mesh. You also also need to discuss how often you'll keep in touch with each other. Understandably, the real estate agent has other clients, but he or she should be easily reachable if you have questions or concerns. Likewise, the real estate agent must be able to reach you to keep you informed about the transaction. It is much better if you can establish together the method and frequency of communication that satisfies you both. After the meeting, compare the real estate agent's experience, working style, and communication style. By comparing the real estate agents, you'll be able to assess who is more qualified, more knowledgeable, and more experienced to serve you. Just keep in mind that although qualification and experience are important factors, you also have to consider someone who you are completely comfortable speaking with because you'll be talking and spending a lot of time together. More importantly, you will be able to compare who you think understands your needs and who you can trust the most. Work with an agent. After comparing the real estate agents that you have met, follow your gut feeling on who feels right for you. And once you've decided on who to work with, inform the real estate agent that you'll be hiring him or her and set another meeting to discuss the important details that will be indicated on your written agreement with him or her. That will include the period and conditions of the authority, commission rate, price, terms, etc. Signing of the agreement. After your meeting, the real estate agent will either prepare an authority to sell or an authority to purchase. An authority to sell is a document whereby a seller authorizes the real estate broker to look for a buyer and negotiate the sale of the property. It may either be non-exclusive wherein you will authorize two or more real estate brokers. Meanwhile, an exclusive authority to sell is the one where you solely authorize the real estate broker. Next time, I'll discuss the pros and cons of both. By the way, real estate brokers are mandated by the Professional Regulatory Board of Real Estate Service to secure an authority to sell from the registered owner or attorney in fact before selling any property. So please support the real estate broker in complying with such. Moreover, such a document will help protect you from any unwanted claims or misrepresentation of your property. For the authority to purchase, it is a document whereby a buyer authorizes the real estate broker to look for a property for sale and negotiate the purchase of the said property. You work with an agent exclusively, so if you found a property that you want to view, contact your real estate agent and not the person who listed the property. Don't go behind your agent's back because it will affect your relationship and communication. By the way, you won't need an authority to purchase if you are going to purchase a project or a property from a real estate developer. That is it for the start to end on how to find 
choose and contact the best real estate agent for you. I know that the services I tackled here are sales agency and purchase agency, but I also want to let you know that you can also hire a real estate broker to lease for you or help you secure a loan. If you were able to hire the best real estate agent for you, your agent will not just be your friend, but will also become a trusted resource of real estate service for years to come. If you found this video helpful, please like this video and also consider subscribing if you want to learn more about real estate in the Philippines. If you have questions, just comment below and I'll answer them. Again, I'm Ann Clemente, a real estate YouTuber based in the Philippines. Thank you for watching Own Property PH.